crispy, crunchy and gritty as some ways I've heard people describing the outputs from OpenAI's 4.0 slash ChatGPT images. Now, I definitely see what they're talking about. I'm going to use this excellent image here as an example. So I've checked out this split screen Steve Jobs image and the users up there. I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to go and check out more of their stuff. So I'm just going to download this to my um, desktop, which I've already done. And I'm going to go into a free photo editor called Photopea. Now, if you've never used this, it's a real, you'll find it a real boon. So what you need to do is go to photopea.com. And as you can see, I've already dragged the image in. But just to show you how easy it is, go to photopea.com. There's no account needed. You can do if you like, but you can just drag the image in. Now, yours is going to have some adverts down the right hand side. Um, and that's how it's maintained as a completely free software. You can pay a small amount. Um, on a one-off monthly fee to kind of get rid of the um, get rid of the adverts for a month, but which I've done for the sake of this video, so it's not annoying. But you really don't have to do them. The functionality is almost the same. Anyway, so now we've got the image. Let's just have a zoom in and see what we're looking at. So I absolutely love the outputs of this model. I think they're they're far and away better than anything else at the moment. However, that there is definitely a slight crunchiness going on. And um, it affects images like this, where there's a lot of fine hair, like stubble and things like that. Um, and a lot of people have, have commented on it being like extra grain added to the image, like a fake sort of texture added to the image. Some people have wondered whether that's something to do with their, with how their images are then self-identified as being created with, um, created with their model, etc. I just think it's a layer of post-processing done to enhance the perceived detail of the images afterwards. So it comes across as a bit of grain or noise on some of them. Some of them it comes across as like being over sharpened like on this to me. So this looks like this looks like a photograph that was already really sharp from the camera that someone has then gone into Photoshop or whatever and actually applied a little bit too much extra sharpening to it. And it's kind of giving it this slightly harsh look. And the problem is it hurts your eyes after a while, after you've been looking at it for too long, just because of the harshness of the lines. So when we're in Photopea, anyway, enough talking, straight to the action. So all I'm going to do is with the background layer here, I'm going to press Control J or Command J, depending if you're on a PC or a Mac, to duplicate that layer, just so I can easily show you. And all I'm going to do is go to the filter menu, go to blur, I just literally choose the one that says blur. Nothing fancy, we're not going to be changing any settings. And watch the kind of beard area on Steve Jobs here. Right, okay. So all that's done is let me just turn that on and off. Let me just zoom out a bit. Not, not that far. Now, that's just applied a very subtle, small radius blur across the image. In a set amount, you can't change it. It's just that simple. And I found that for the resolution and the size images that come out of this image model, this is just the perfect amount to just knock back that slight harshness that some of the images have and just make it look more like a naturally sharp photo rather than something with some extra... Um, extra post-processing or sharpening added on top. And it is really that simple. You don't need to go into the Gaussian blur and start changing all the settings. You literally just, the one that's just a singular blur, it's just a one-step process. That does the job for me on most of the images that I have this little um, over-sharpening sort of issue on. And um, that's it, just a real quick one today. I wanted to share that with you and I hope you find it useful.